we're going to try the following example. For a specific brand of bread, the distribution of levels of fiber per loaf is approximately normally distributed with mean 6 gram and standard deviation 0 0.2 grams. Part 1 of this question is to explain why it would be unwise for the bread company to advertise that each loaf contains 6 grams of fiber. Let's just talk about the first part. And the second part says what should the company advertise the level of fiber per loaf to be so that 97% of the loaves contain at least that much fiber. Okay, so let's go back to part one. Actually, let's go back to the problem itself. So one more time, what are we dealing with in this problem? Well, we're dealing with bread and um, distribution of levels of fiber per loaf. But the fact that the levels of fiber per loaf are approximately normally distributed with mean 6 gram and standard deviation 0 0.2 grams means that not every loaf of bread has exactly the same amount of fiber. In fact, it's a relatively small number of loaves that is going to have exactly 6 grams of fiber. But we can say that about 50% 50, 50 of the loaves will have more than 6 grams of, fi of fiber, which is a good thing, right? More fi fiber is better. Um, and about 50% of the loaves will have less than 6 grams of, fi of fiber, and that's not a good thing, right? And that's the reason why it would be unwise to put 6 grams on the package, uh, claiming that it's 6 grams, because if we take a sample, uh, and measure fiber in each loaf within that sample, we'll find that approximately half of them would have less than six grams of fiber. And, you know, it's kind of upsetting, right? More is okay. We're okay with having more than advertised, but having less than advertised, that's not a good idea. So that's the reason why it would be unwise. And that's the reason why posing the next question is pretty logical, um, which is what should the company advertise the level of fiber um, per loaf to be? So that 97% of the loaves contain at least that much fiber. In other words, they put something, well, they, they need to put a different number on the package. And if we take a sample of, I don't know, 100 loaves um, and test a measure of fiber on each loaf, then we're going to discover that 97 out of 100 loaves have that much, which is, you know, which is good. There are only like three, about three of them would have less than uh, the claimed number, amount of fiber. So... Um, and our goal is to find that number. Um, our goal is to find what they need to put on the package in this case. Before we start talking about steps, as far as how to find that value, let's try to make some notes, add a few more notes to this picture uh, that are related to the question itself. So again, we're trying to find that unknown value um, that represents the amount of fiber, right? So where should I place that value on the number line? Well, we said that if we're here at 6 at the mean, then only 50% of loaves have that much or more fiber. Well, it means that I have to keep moving to the left, and let's say I stop here and put x, unknown value. Is over here. So, um, and I want that X to be pos positioned or it be such that 97% of other loaves uh, have this much or more, right? So it's to the right on the on the right hand side. So schematically, I can show it like that. I can highlight this area to the right of X, and since this area corresponds to proportion 97%, it means that the area itself is 0.97. So this information should be enough for us to find this unknown value of the random variable or the amount of fiber. To find the value of a normal random variable when we know area, we have to use calculator function in norm. And um, it can be found by pressing second vars over here and going down to line number three in norm. That's where you have to, I have some information from my previous example, but that's where you need to, um, to enter area, 
mean and standard deviation for that distribution. But we have to be careful and remember that with this calculator, with a specific calculator, this area represents area to the left of the unknown um, value of the normal random variable. So it's always area to the left. But let's, let's look at our picture. Well, area that we know, the one that's highlighted in, in orange, it's actually area to the right, so we shouldn't be using it here. Then what number do we need to use? Well, we need to use number that represents this area, area to the left. And how do we find that? Well, knowing that the total area under the normal curve is 1, and area to the right of x is 0.97, we can find area to the left by subtracting 0.97 from 1. So that's 1 minus 0.97, which is 0 0.03. And that's what we're going to enter in the calculator, 0 0.03. 0 0.03, area to the left. Now, mean is 6. And then standard deviation, point, point 0.2. Yeah, point 0.2. Okay, so now we'll press enter. If your calculator did not give you that list to um, enter, then you would just have to you would have to enter those three numbers in order, separated by commas. Point 0.03, comma 6, comma point 0.2. Now I'm pressing enter and I'm getting this number, so 5.6. And that's the value of this random variable. X is 5.6. But what is the meaning of that number in the context of our um, example? 5.6 grams is such number that 97% of loaves have this much of fiber or more and that's what the company should advertise on their package if they want they want that condition so let's make a few notes first so step one was to find area to the left area to the left of x it's 1 minus 0.97 which is 0 0.03 and then we used in the second step we used inv norm function where we entered 0 0.03 area to the left, uh, 6 grams that was the mean, and then 0 0.2 that was the standard deviation. So area to the left. mean and the standard deviation and we got 5.6 grams so let's write down the answer so I wrote the company should advertise that each loaf contains 5.6 grams and one more time it doesn't mean that every single loaf is going to contain 5.6 grams it's going to it's going to mean in this case that um, 97% of loaves are going to contain that or more, which is good, but only 3% are, um, are going to contain less than 5.6, but it's, it's insignificant. So that would be the answer to this question.